What's going on everybody? It's your boy Avionics returning with another action figure review video. Now if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and ringing that notifications bell. In today's video, we are taking a look at the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 movie, The Secret of the Ooze, Kino with Scooter, San Diego Comic Con Convention exclusive made by NECA. So this um, deluxe set is $100. It includes uh, some extra goodies besides the action figure and scooter itself. And uh, like I said, this was a convention exclusive for $100. So after tax and shipping, it came out to $121. And uh, it arrived a couple, of a couple of days ago. So now we're gonna go ahead and check it all out. It comes in this uh, pizza box delivery, pizza delivery box. And um, this itself was in a cardboard box, uh, uh, big, just big enough to be able to pack this up. So, you know, reminiscent of the actual Roy's Greenwich Village pizza delivery. Um, box. This is the cover of the front. You got the NECA logo, Kino with Scooter, convention exclusive over here on the edge. So it does come with the action figure, a keychain, and a t shirt, larger XL. I got the XL, but it's got other things here like um, typical things you'd see on uh, pizza boxes, like the ingredients and what, what's on it. Uh, or, yeah, so uh, employee of the month card and a magnet too. So that's what's going to be inside here. There's the side of the pizza box. This side, the nice cheesy slice of pizza right there. And then on the bottom, you have uh, the Nickelodeon logo and then the Ninja Turtles logo. And then this uh, faux um, oily pizza stain on the bottom, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open it now. It opens just like a regular pizza box would. And then let's see here. We got the Roy's Pizza Employee of the Month, March 1991. There we go. We have Kino or Ernie Reyes Jr. who plays Kino. And then here is the uh, extra large t-shirt. So I wear typically large, sometimes an extra large depending on uh, what kind of shirt it is. But there's a how the shirt looks. Roy's Greenwich Village, established 1972. Fast delivery, it's all white, and just the, the red screen print. And uh, this feels like it's pretty, uh, feels like it'd be hot actually to wear, um, but it, this is a, a Gildan t-shirt. Heavy cotton, yeah, so it's all cotton, so that's why it feels as heavy as it does. It's not half-half with polyester, but that is the shirt. And then here is the, uh, the keychain that it mentioned on the um on the front of that box let's go ahead and open this up that's pretty cool so it's very 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 flexible and it is uh it's raised it's a raised logo as you can see there let's see here there you go and then um on the back side there's nothing going on and then the keychain itself right there so that's cool all right and then we have our magnet Oh, this is a pretty heavy duty magnet. It's pretty heavy. Uh, let's go ahead and take it out. So this is going to go on my fridge. And this is a pretty cool looking magnet. So you have the, uh, everything's raised as well here. The lettering and the scooter. It's all raised above the white um, plane. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Fast delivery. Ask about our wholesale pricing. Then we have some Viacom licensing right down there. Uh, 2023 it says yeah but yeah that's pretty cool and then the action figure itself let's go ahead and oh, I'm gonna keep the box you know I'm, I'm an out-of-box collector but just the pizza box alone is worth, is worth keeping because of the way it's designed and you know it's from the movie and then here is the action figure itself with the scooter so there's Kino so this is the front of the box and the window display showing everything Inside, for the most part, there is at the top of the box, Secret of the Ooze. Here's the bottom of the barcode, but like I said, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to find this in Targets anytime soon. Um, I would assume so, because I, it's got, you know, this is this, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, convention exclusive. It's going to contain all the items that we just showed. I think eventually just the figure itself with this with the scooter will be available at Target and other online retailers eventually all right so ahead there's this side and then the other side and then the back 
and showing off some uh, prom promotional shots of the product itself, some product shots. Oh, and it does say um, includes interchangeable head and hands, a scooter, delivery bag, pizza box, and pizza slices. All right, let's go ahead and take everything out of the box now. All right, so this cardboard insert behind the plastic clamshell in the box is actually the NECA Street diorama. And then here is the clamshell with everything all seated in place. So now let's go ahead and take everything out of that. All right, so here's everything all laid out on the table. Let's start off with the accessories. So he does come with two different head sculpts. This is the first head sculpt attached to the body upon opening the box. Uh, let's check out the likeness of this Kino face sculpt with the, um, the, the one on the Employee of the Month card. Um, yeah, I'd give it about a 7 out of 10 if it's going to match. Uh, yeah, like a 7.5. So that's pretty good likeness in the uh, face sculpt. And then the other head sculpt is this one. So uh, the differences between the two. Um, this one looks more like it's like in the, like he's fighting or he's got some emotion to his eyebrows a little bit more on the you know fighting angry side perhaps this one's more of a jolly happy um, looking Kino but the uh, the hair sculpt is pretty much on point on these um, dark black uh, it's like a very black matte hair and then um, you know just that the part is nicely detailed and then the front I guess the bangs you'd call it I'm swept over to the left side. Everything looks really good. Pretty much the same hair sculpt. And then like his mullet, of course. Check out the mullet on both of the hair sculpts. So yeah, so it comes with two heads. And then he comes with three sets of hands. So the hands that he comes with attached are these hands right here. In that kind of a pose. And they articulate side to side. And then the other pairs of hands we have a right and a left closed fist that articulates side to side and then a right and a left gripping hand sculpt or pose which articulates uh, up and down look at that that's nice let's see if the other one is up and down as well yes the left one is an up and down articulation mo movement so that's good so he can be holding like a bow staff if you wanted to or what you know whatever else and then before we go on to the scooter, let's go ahead and take a look at this awesome pizza bag for the pizza. It's, it's all black washed uh, under the, uh, above the red paint. And you have this, it looks like a receipt right here. Let's see if we can get a close up of that. There we go. That's pretty cool. It's got the receipt number and all the itemized items there. It even says thank you right there at the bottom of the receipt. <laughs> That's pretty dope. And then it's got the um, the brown straps here on the underside, backside. Really cool looking. It says hot in four different places right there. And it opens up. So with the pegs, these little plastic soft pliable pegs release. And then you have the pizza box. And it's made of cardboard. Um, I mean, you could open it if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it closed up like that. So that's pretty cool. So it's just going to slide right back on in there. And then... Put the, the pegs back in to close it up. There we go. And then, um, so you would put this in, in the case here, which would be on the trunk. I'm sorry, not the trunk. Scooter doesn't have a trunk. On the, um, what do you call this? This excess, this scooter accessory uh, mount where the box, where this one would mount onto. Because right under there, you got the three mounting holes. But let's take a look at the pizza case. Roy's Pizza logo right there, and then the buckle or the the latch, and then the hinge. Really cool looking. So then you can put the pizza bag right in there, just like that, which would then attach to here. And let's see here. Okay, so actually the three pegs right there. One, two, three. So this is the top side, just like that. It's gonna sit like that, and then you would just. Peg that in like that. And then this is going to go on a scooter. But before we attach that on a scooter, let's take a look at this awesome retro vintage scooter that he's riding on in the movie. And he's delivering that pizza at the very beginning when they go to that shopping mall area. 
So it's all white, it's looking brand new. I don't know what model uh, scooter this is, but it's pretty cool looking. Um, even got the uh, the side marker lights going on. The uh, Even the foot grip is detailed, so that's pretty cool. And then as far as instrument cluster, you don't see much, but you do see like the, um, the, the red uh, kill switch. And then I don't know what these orange paint right there on the sides, but you know, you have the... Uh, the brake and um, I guess it's a front and a rear brake because scooters are automatic but then you see like the details over here wrapping around the tail lights look pretty cool and then I'm glad this thing they decided to put a try uh, a kickstand that way you can stand up just like that so that's pretty cool Whoop. it slid back down so you can stand up with ease let's check out the underside and the tires are are made of rubber they feel like rubber right there and then the the uh the chain you can see down here the, the casing around that really cool looking and then the uh, the muffler or exhaust right here that's the front wheel it's really really cool looking all right let's go ahead and assemble the scooter now so there's two holes right here all right where my fingernail is on both sides and that's where the, uh, these two are gonna peg right in so just like like that just push it on in pressure fits there you go so that's the scooter okay let's go ahead and put the kickstand down let's go ahead and prop up kino on it now all right so here's a shot of kino sitting on the scooter as best as i can pose him All right, so let's take a closer look at the action figure itself and the details. He's wearing that Roy's Pizzeria um, jacket, red and white, two pockets on the front. Got some buttons and then the collar. And then around the back, you do have the Roy's Pizza uh, wording or logo. And there is some like sp uh, specks of black, but the details in the, in the jacket shirt or shirt jacket looks pretty on point. Got some white um, cuffs at the sleeves. And then he's wearing his blue jeans slim blue jeans nice details just creases and folds and then he's got all black shoes probably non-slip work shoes because you know how it is they they require non non-slip shoes at the at like most restaurants and stuff but yeah he's got some details of laces right there and then he does have peg holes all right and then uh, this this is a pliable shirt jacket but it's not removable so the black shirt that he's wearing underneath it's all attached and sculpted together now, as far as articulation goes, all the way down, all the way up before his mullet is hitting his collar, rotate 360 degrees. Now, this is a, a single joint. I'm going to say, it. I don't think the neck moves. So the neck doesn't move at the collarbone. So it's just a, it's going to be a, a ball joint or we, hey, we got a barbell right there. So we got a barbell st style joint. Pop his head back on. Actually, let's go ahead and pop his switch out the heads while we're at it all right so we have his fighting face i guess you'd say so the arms can go up as laterally as like that as far like that 360 degrees and then i got some of the articulation plastic kind of chipping away it's all right i'm gonna peel that off single joint right there at the elbow uh, more than 90 degrees though and then it does have a elbow swivel and then, like I said, the, everything at the wrist is going to rotate 360 degrees. And then these, like I said, these hands, they articulate up and down. And then he is not going to have much of a torso articulation going on, but he does bend as far forward as that, like that. And then as far as legs go, splits as far forward as this one, as this range. All the way back, we have double jointed knees or double articulation uh, knees, and that's the type of uh, joints we're looking at in the legs. And then there is a swivel at the knee right there at the top of the knee, and then at the feet, hinging all the way up as far up as possible, all the way back, and then there is the rocker swivel. All right, so let's bust out the rest of the turtles from the Secret of the Ooze movie. Yeah, so I think Kino scales very, very good with the rest of the turtles from the movie. So that's how they all stack up together. 
So here's April O'Neil from the first oh, Ninja Turtles movie along with Splinter. Splinter really doesn't much change as far as from the first movie to the second movie. But uh, just for size and scale comparison, the first movie, April O'Neil and Splinter. And I'm hoping we get the, I don't know, I forgot what her name is. Um, the, the April O'Neil who starred in the second movie. I hope we get her soon because, um, you know, Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze won't be complete without her. And there's Kino with Shredder from Secret of the Ooze and a foot soldier. Overall, this is probably one of my anticipated figures uh, to come out this year for the Ninja Turtles line, for any Ninja Turtles line that I'm collecting. So yeah, and overall, Kino looks pretty good. You know, like I said, um, probably an 8 out of 10 as far as face accuracy of the face sculpt and uh, just this deluxe set. And, uh, you know, the scooter looks great. The pizza, um, the pizza bag looks great. Um, the accessories are pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to really actually use that keychain, but that magnet is definitely going on the fridge. I'll probably put up uh, Kino's uh, picture, the postcard picture on the fridge too, and let my wife figure out what's going on with that with that dude on my fridge. Definitely a great add to the collection if you're collecting Secret of the Ooze Ninja Turtles 2 movie. I'll definitely be wearing that shirt. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. If you cop this SDCC exclusive Kino as well, please let me know down in the comment section if you did and what you guys think. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified of future reviews like this.